Uh, we talked about William Cathcart yesterday in his Baptist Encyclopedia when we were in Philadelphia. He wrote other books as well. Uh, the uh, Papal System, Cathcart wrote that book. If you can find it, it's called The Papal System, and he exposes Rome, and it's a very fine piece of literature. You really need, need to get a hold of it. It's not as involved as, uh, as what uh, Hislop's Two Babylons are, and it's not as difficult to read, but it would contain a great amount of information. Cathcart left that for us. He also did a work on the ancient British and Irish churches, talking about them and the Baptist uh, in that part of the world. So that's a very good work as well. And then he also, uh, one of the more popular things that he ever did, he issued a book called Baptist and the American Revolution. And if you can find a copy of that book, it's well worth reading. And there are a lot of stories in there. He does have a lot uh, that he says, but there's so much more that could have been said. And he probably just didn't have access or he couldn't punch it into the, com to the computer or search engine and get everything to come up. So what these men compiled for us is really remarkable. But what's out there yet to be compiled, men, is, is really overwhelming. But it needs to be done for our, for our heritage sake uh, because... We can't expect the Protestants to tell that the Baptists were involved in the revolution. We've said it before, Brother Beller's mentioned it in his book, The Coming Destruction of the Baptist People. But when we think about uh, the, the book that the Foundation for American Christian Education, the ones that print the Webster's 1828 Dictionary, which is an excellent resource, they also print a Christ, the Christian history, the Christian history of the revolution. Now, wouldn't you think that that should include people who are Christian and were involved in the revolution? Well, they've got a large section in there about the Presbyterians. They've got a large section in there about the Episcopalians. They've got a large section in there about the Congregationalists who were involved. But only one, the name of one Baptist is mentioned in that book. And it's Samuel Stillman. Now, not Skillman, but Samuel Stillman, who was pastor of the First Baptist Church in Boston. They don't mention the fact that he was a Baptist. They just mention his name and lump him together with other Baptists who were involved in the revolution in Boston who uh, spoke, uh, who were loyal, rather, to the American cause. Now, what they should have said was that Samuel Stillman, the Baptist preacher, was the only one out of the entire bunch that did not close the church doors that he where he was preaching and leave town when the British invaded. In fact, he kept the, the church open and preached against the British every service while he was there. <laughs> Why is that not told? You see, we've got to tell those stories if, if, if it's to be told. The Baptists were involved. Uh, the Baptists really are the reason why that we have the type of country we have today and uh, what a blessing it is.